When we talk about radiation, another word involuntarily comes to mind Chernobyl. These two words have become synonymous. The series Chernobyl provoked a lively discussion and contradictory reviews. However, this did not stop it from being the best in the world at the moment. I watched this series, and I was left with questions about the most important hero of this film radiation. I tried to make sense of this complex phenomenon and to explain in simple language how radiation affects us in our daily lives. What is the danger of radiation? The natural radiation background is constantly present on Earth. Some unstable particles originated in the Big Bang, and their half-life is comparable to the age of the universe. To this is added ionizing radiation from space. But on a normal scale, it's not dangerous for humans. A completely different picture is formed by atomic bombardments or man-made disasters with powerful ejections of ionizing particles. The energy generated by the fission of radioactive nuclei knocked out electrons from the atoms of cells, which leads to the disruption of their functions. This is how radiation sickness occurs. How does radiation sickness manifest itself? How is it treated? The first signs of the disease nausea, vomiting, disorientation occur when radioactive particles enter the body through the skin, with inhaled air, or with food. Therefore, the main task of medics at the first stage of treatment is elimination of active particles with the help of drips and lavage. When irradiation with high doses develops an acute form of the disease, mainly affecting the hematopoietic system. In this case blood transfusions and bone marrow transplants are used. Particular damage to the body occurs when both DNA strands are damaged. It can no longer recover properly, filling the free space with random nucleotides. This leads to tissue degeneration and tumor formation. The consequences can manifest themselves over a long period of time. Breakdowns in germ cell chromosomes are inherited and lead to mutations in the next generations. How do we protect ourselves from radiation? It depends on what kind of radiation we are considering. Radiation or ionizing radiation, when it interacts with matter, causes the nuclei in its atoms to be converted into nuclei of other elements. Different types of particles are produced in this process. During alpha decay, an alpha particle is emitted. Simple clothing can help protect against it. The beta particle is much smaller than the alpha particle, so it is able to penetrate into loose materials. Glass or aluminum sheet can trap this type of radiation. Gamma radiation has the greatest penetrating power. Neither suits nor gas masks will protect from it. In this case very dense material can help, not only lead, which is used in the series, but also steel, tungsten and other heavy metals. Thick concrete walls will also help, which is taken into account in the construction of underground bunkers. In addition, neutrons are produced during the reaction. Their energy can be dissipated by water, polyethylene and other polymers. How do I deactivate a contaminated substance? Deactivation takes place in two ways. Radioactive particles are removed mechanically by water jet with brushes and other means. In addition, solutions are used that wash away particles that have penetrated deep into materials. There are other methods of deactivation, such as the use of electrolytes, ultrasound or laser. But they are less common because of the difficulty of using them on large objects. Is it possible to drink iodine as a prophylactic? The characters in the series take iodine tablets to protect their endocrine system from radioactive exposure. Some isotopes can be incorporated into the metabolism. Unstable iodine-131 can accumulate in the thyroid gland, replacing the normal element. With iodine deficiency, the thyroid will accumulate any kind of iodine indiscriminately. That's why it is so important to fill it with a stable element. However, to drink the substance for preventive purposes is not only pointless, but also dangerous. It can provoke thyroid diseases. Where is the natural radiation the strongest? 
This is simple, the closer to the sun, the more radiation there is. Only a small fraction of the cosmic radiation reaches the surface of the Earth. But the higher up in the sky, the greater the dose we receive. Residents of equatorial latitudes are more exposed than those whose homes are closer to the poles. Aviation workers are exposed to more radiation in a year than nuclear power plant workers. And seafarers on nuclear submarines are the least exposed to it, the water column protects them from terrestrial radiation, while the nuclear plant is reliably protected by lead walls. Radiation is not just outside buildings irradiate us even more. The fact is that sand and gravel contain naturally occurring radionuclides. You should not panic. Only safe materials with the lowest radiation levels may be used in residential construction, and this process is regulated by law. Is food unsafe, too? When radioactive particles from the Chernobyl explosion got into food, they were certainly dangerous. But even in everyday life, we are surrounded by foods that contain naturally occurring radiation. And sometimes its level is quite high. The most common bananas, which are considered useful because of their high potassium content, contain an isotope of this element potassium-40. And it is so high that the background produced by exported batches of bananas triggers sensors at the borders of states. Because of this property of the product, nuclear power workers introduced the concept of banana equivalent to refer to the leakage of small doses of radiation. Banana lovers should not get upset products grown on land with a normal radiation background are considered safe. All in all, we get about 10% of the annual radiation level with our food. By the way, by consuming substances containing radioactive elements, humans also become a source of radiation. How does radiation affect machinery? As in the case of exposure to biological organisms, high levels of radiation damage the atoms that make up the machinery. Semiconductors are primarily affected. Acoustic waves appearing when a high-energy particle hits the surface of devices lead to the appearance of hidden defects. That is why the German robot shown in the TV series immediately failed before it had time to leave on a mission. The helicopters, on the other hand, did not fall down from the radiation. The episode shown in Chernobyl is unreliable. The tragedy really happened, only not in the first days after the accident, but six months later, on October 2, 1986. During the liquidation work, the helicopter commander did not see the rope on the construction crane standing next to the power unit and got caught on it with the blade. A little about the Chernobyl disaster. Even before the Chernobyl disaster, there were problems with the third and fourth reactors, as reported in the 2003 KGB archives, a total of 121 documents from 1971 to 1988. Of interest is a 1984 report detailing problems with the third and fourth reactors, as well as a description of the poor quality of parts produced from Yugoslavian factories. Also included in the documentation are reports of breakdowns in 1982 that led to the release of low doses of irradiation. The material also refers to systematic abuses during construction and subsequent operation. Even if the number 4 reactor had a reinforced concrete cover, it would not have been able to keep radioactive dust from escaping into the atmosphere. The force released during the accident was so great that the lid could not withstand the explosion. However, if it had existed, it would have largely limited the impact of the explosions and the level of emissions would have been lower. The reactor explosion had nothing to do with a nuclear explosion. In fact, there was a steam explosion first, and then a hydrogen explosion. This was due to the release of large amounts of heat from the nuclear fuel, and the burning of the graphite moderator in the reactor which was accompanied by an intense evolution of hydrogen, which in turn caused an explosion of oxygen. As a result, huge amounts of radioactive material were released into the atmosphere, 8 by 1,018 becquerels, or only 200 times less than all nuclear explosions. Despite the high risk due to top-down pressure, 
no decision was made to immediately shut down the remaining power units. Only the reactor operator directly adjacent to the destroyed Unit 4 shut down the reactor despite the protests of his superiors. The construction of positive feedback reactors was forbidden even in the USSR. In order to build it, the atomic law had to be changed. According to the original plans, the power plant was to be built at a site where one of Kiev's districts was located. Fortunately, this plan was left alone. If you were interested thank the author by giving me a nickname. And also don't forget to subscribe, so you won't miss even more interesting videos on my channel. Turn on notifications by clicking bell and share this clip with your friends. What else interesting you can add on this video? Write in the comments, it will be interesting to read.